Hey guys, it's been a while since I've done a video here and I want to kind of show you what I'm up to. Um, I'm out in the uh, trailer that I picked up. Uh, I picked this up about six months ago. And the point was to get, you can be able to get all the tools and everything up to the property to work on the cabin. So it's kind of a rainy day and I'm, you know, I got the heater in here, I got some lights set up, I'm plugged into the garage here. Um, and I'm kind of figuring out what I want to do with this thing. Um, I mean, obviously, I can just leave it alone and, and haul stuff back and forth. It's not a big big deal. It's a nice it's a nice trailer. It's a six by fourteen. It's almost fifteen feet actually internally, so you you have that uh, kind of uh, length. But um, there's a few there's a few channels on YouTube that show how to make a um, you know toolbox trailer or you know something that you can go do a bunch of maintenance with. Um, with mine, I want to keep it. The thing is, we're tra we're traveling with it quite a distance, so I, my main thing is to keep it fairly light. So I'm not going to be putting, you know, tons of weight in here with big heavy toolboxes. I'm just kind of putting everything in here to see what what it all, how it all fits. Um, and then I also have some shelving here that I'll show you in a minute. But I've kind of started to figure out what I want to do with it. And the main purpose is to get tools from here. And also, if I build something in the garage, that's obviously if it fits in here, I won't be bringing the quad. I'll be bringing that. So the first project um, will be to bring the kitchen modules up, and I'll be I'll be kitting those up uh, this winter or at the end of the winter because it's going to take till spring before I can even get up there. It's it's usually muddy and snowy, and I'll be going a lot slower this year. We had a baby this year. Uh, she's been a lot of fun, and but at the same time, we don't have the time. Or I don't have the time to de dedicate to these projects as much as I did before. That's kind of why I made a big push last year to get the, the uh, shed cabin built. And we did that and we're happy with it. Now I can just kind of, we have a structure, we can bring her, but I need, I'll need some place where I can use as a garage because we don't have a garage up there. Alright, so here's the space of the trailer. There's Doggy. She, you're staying out of the rain too, huh? Do you want to, do you want to go out there and play? It's too wet. You have to stay in here and stay dry. Originally, I have now I have these cabinets or these uh, shelving units. They're steel. I was going to build up two by fours, but in reality, I already had these things in the garage, which means I'll probably have to go buy some more. Um, they're not they're not real expensive. I think they're fifty or sixty dollars. Um, but for weight, you know, you're you're talking about they're not very heavy because they're just a thin metal. Here's some here's some brackets here. Um, that I didn't need. I, I may actually put a little small shelf in there for uh, just smaller things. I picked up some organizational stuff. You know, we get. I'm starting to realize, man, you're doing this construction thing. You got screws laying around everywhere. You got nails, and you just want everything in one space. So I actually picked this box up right here. Right now, these are temporarily screwed down to the wall. I'm just. I'm, I'm actually just kind of mocking this thing up before I really commit to it. Because if I'm running this empty, I may want this ATV to be up front, and maybe put a few things in the back. When this thing's loaded down, and when I have all the gear in it, you know, I have my generator and and the, I got boxes up front. Um, I I will most likely want to want to put this in the back, and so I, I actually have to install a couple more tie downs just ahead of those tires. The back ones will fit. What I'm thinking here is a workbench. So I I'm going to take a piece of plywood, very simple, and I'll make it removable. I've seen people put pegboard in here and that I might do that. I'm thinking about doing that if I can find a system that ties the tools down, you know, some basic hammers, you know, just some minimal organiza organizational stuff, brooms, you know, dust pans and stuff. Um, stuff that's probably not too heavy. I don't want it to rattle off of there. Um, but, you know, I, I, I'm going to probably go get, you know, $5 worth of pegboard and put it up. Uh, the biggest project I'm going to have, and I have to decide this before I really do anything, and I, I've been kind of holding off doing it, but I'd like to insulate this thing. The top will be easy. There's nothing up here. It's just a frame. You know, they have some, some wood here to, to kind of, you know, make it so it's not so warpy up there. But this is all open, and I could actually buy this very thin, like, 16th inch uh, wood uh, down at the store. I've seen it. It's fairly light. Um, but I don't really know what to put up there. I think there's a, a metallic stuff. That's where I think that the majority of the heat and the cold come in on this thing. Um, but I don't think it would be all that hard to take to take this off. It's just screwed on. 
Um, there are some screws. You can see one's right under this trim. Now, whoever put this trim on, they need to be slapped. That's just too many. I mean, they got staples everywhere on this thing, and you only really need a fraction of those. It's just a trim. But before I put everything in here, I'm kind of trying to decide if I should do that. Um, and just throw some insulation. You know, I've seen guys where they, where they just unhook the top part and then tuck it down in behind. Maybe I can partially do the bottom one and then not have to tear the whole thing apart. So here it is from the back. And you can see I got a little bit of storage over there and the dog's laying in the spot where we're gonna be able to kick back and kind of enjoy ourselves. And you know, I might get one of those little butane stoves and be able to cook up some, some lunch in there and some hot chocolate when we're on the road. So again, this, the whole point of this thing is to figure out what I'm going to do with this. And I think it has to be kind of a multi-use deal right now. Maybe I'll put a little rug down there or something we can sit down and the baby can crawl around and she can kind of stretch her legs a little bit. It's a long trip for a, for a little kid. I mean, really, they, they get kind of cranky when you go that far. So having this might actually be nice. We can kind of corral the dog. She'll be in here. We'll be able to eat some food. Um, and then, like I said, sometimes the ATV will be with us and sometimes it won't. So we may actually have more space back here. Um, and, you know, maybe I'll have other things tied to the walls. But um, for now, it's got to be sort of clear, clean and clear back here because I don't want a lot of clutter. Uh, it'll be hauling big things. I need to put a spare tire holder right there. Um, and again, I may end up putting some storage up there. I don't know how to use it. It's really close to the door. Let's see what else probably about it.